Welcome everyone to today's developer update. I'm Jeff from the Overwatch team. As many of you are already aware, we recently released a brand new hero to Overwatch, and that hero's name is Sigma. He is a brilliant scientist who is very interested in astrophysics, and he basically is doing research on black holes. Well, he goes up to Reaper and says, hey, you know, can I harness the power of your black hole? And the next thing he knows, he finds himself respawning with severe psychological damage uh, that's affected his brain. So you're probably wondering, you know, how do we come up with the concept of Sigma? Well, I was in a big meeting um, with, you know, the top Blizzard bosses, um, and they were saying, Jeff, you need to explain all these irregularities in the Overwatch team, pension, fund, you know, they were just going on and on. And I wasn't really listening until one of them said, Jeff, I don't think you understand the gravity of the situation. Um, that's when I thought, wow, gravity, a gravity themed hero is what Overwatch needs right now. So I started working on it right away. And here we are today. So we hope you guys have been having a blast with Sigma. So far, the feedback we're hearing is very positive. Uh, we think Sigma has created a fun and refreshing new meta. And he has that, that certain kit, which opens up a whole new wide array of ways for you to play Barrier Watch. I'm sorry, I mean Overwatch. So an example is you might put his shield up behind Orisa's shield, or maybe you want to put it, you know, further in front of Orisa's shield, or perhaps you'll put it, you know, just out, off to the side of Orisa's shield. Um, the possibilities are endless, and if you're feeling really crazy, um, you could even use his experimental barrier with uh, Junkrat's shield ability to um, um, actually, everybody, please forget about that. That's something that we've been testing internally that hasn't quite made it to the PTR just yet. Um, so that was a weird sneak preview of what's coming up. And for that, I, I apologize that that mistake happened. Uh, but beyond that, another thing I wanted to touch on was an issue that I think a lot of us have been feeling for some time. And that's sort of how a tremendous amount of people in the community have been focusing heavily on one specific aspect of Sigma's visual design. And I think a lot of you guys will, will know what I'm talking about. The community needs to take a deep look inward at, at, at each of us and really consider, you know, am I playing this game because I wanna have fun in a six versus six competitive FPS shooter or Am I playing this game because I want to have Sigma's long, delicious toes stuffed down the back of my throat? Now, it's very important for all of you to realize that you guys really are the ones steering the direction of this game. And I don't mean to flex, but I want to remind you that everyone here on the Overwatch team is completely under my command. So if I order them to drop everything to work on toe sucking emotes for the characters, uh, they'll do it. So just give me the signal and I'll go ahead and, and make it happen. Um, you know, sort of out of time right now, but one last thing that I think is important to mention, as many of you are already aware, we recently made a really big announcement that I think will be particularly exciting for all of the convergence in the audience. Well, Bing Bing Wa, who, that's right, Overwatch is uh, finally coming to the Nintendo Dude Switch. Um, I think Microsoft PowerPoint fans are gonna be really blown away with how low the frame rate drops when there's uh, more than one ultimate on the screen at the same time. I think you guys are going to really love it, but please uh, make sure to ask your mom before buying loot boxes in the store. Um, on second thought, um, you know, if she doesn't want you to have the best skins, um, she definitely doesn't love you. Uh, these are undisputable facts, and um, if she happens to um, notice that huge charge on her credit card, just tell her. It's an exciting investment in your future career as an Overwatch pro gamer or something like that. Um, but 
anyway, that's all we have for today. Just so you know, there might not be another developer update for a while. I'm just getting over a bad case of gravitic flux. Um, and Dr. Harold says, I need to take it really easy if I wanna make a full recovery. Um, so we'll see you guys online. Thank you very much, and we hope you're having a blast playing Overwatch. Here at Blizzard, something that we're constantly kind of struggling with is, you know, we got to weigh on one hand the desire to look like a super progressive company. You know, every every voice matters and all that stuff. And on the other hand, uh, still bending over backwards for an oppressive government in order to make a ton of money at the cost of our moral compass. So it's a really fine balancing point for us. Um, we're gonna do our best, it gets very tricky. Now, I was supposed to talk to you guys about how Blizzard headquarters are moving from you know Irvine, California to an amazing skyscraper in, in China. But I really need to go off script for a second. I think a lot about video games and why people behave the way that they do in, in video games. And I think a lot of it comes down to the ability to freely chat with anybody anytime, speak your mind, which I think is super valuable. And uh, I really do believe that the world needs heroes now more than ever. And because of the recent controversial events, it's very important for me to mention that I 100% Video games.